Enterprise Business Rules Engine must support decision tables to model complicated logic when dealing with complex rules. App Rules Decision Tables offer several advantages, including powerful templates, all runtime values, expressions, functions, and scripts, and activity execution. In this video, we'll quickly show you how to configure the App Rules Evaluate Decision Table activity. Before we continue, if you have not done so, please watch the Actions and Conditions videos to learn how to do the following. Add the Business Rules module to the toolbox. Create a Business Rules project. Configure the App Rules Action activity. Configure the App Rules Condition activity. And lastly, how to run and monitor a Business Rules job. First, I'll show you how to set up a decision table. Then, we'll do a walkthrough and run a completed decision table project. Drag the Evaluate Decision Table activity onto the designer. Configure the Decision Table Rows property. Display the context menu and select Add New Condition. Configure the Condition Items property. You can initialize the condition using one of the available options. For this example, let's use the Pick List option. Then, we'll configure the template for the condition. Now, we'll repeat the process to add a decision table action. Display the context menu and select Add New Action. This time, we'll define the action items using the Ad Hoc List option to enter discount percent values. Now, let's create the template for the action. Now that you have a basic idea of decision table actions and conditions, I'll do a walkthrough of the customer discount project. Let's take a closer look at the evaluate decision table activity. The evaluation option has been set to all rows. And here's the decision table. This decision table has been set up to apply a discount and or free shipping to a customer order. The decision will be made based on the following conditions. Whether it is a new customer, the range of the sale amount, and the range of the number of prior orders received from the customer. The actions indicate the discount percent and whether to offer free shipping. 
To maintain the decision table, display the context menu. To add new rows, select Add New Rows. Note that the View Execution Result checkbox has been checked, so we can view the results when it is run. Let's go ahead and do a test run of the project. And here are the results. As you can see, Row 3 met the criteria and therefore, the specified actions were performed. Once created and configured, AppRule's decision tables are typically maintained by business users via their favorite browsers. No technical knowledge or software installation is required. Thank you for watching this introductory App Rules Portal video. For more information, please visit our website at appstrategy.com.